Hello YouTube. Um, today I'm just going to show you um, this program I've been working on. It's a Unity program and it's called Boyes VR. And what it does, it's a simple virtual reality weather application. And uh, what, how does it work is when you type the name of a city like New York or um, Seattle and you click on go you basically get the same this weather data description here but when you click on VR mode that is virtual reality mode you can actually be taken to a virtual reality setting where the current weather that is being displayed currently will actually be rendered in real time in virtual reality so um, the program is available on github for downloads if you want to try it out for yourself and the source code is also located in GitHub. And the link to my GitHub is in the description below in this video. And with that out of the way, um, I'm just gonna show you the program and what it looks like. Okay, so I just turned on my headset. I just put on my headset. As you can see, I'm looking left, looking right. So as, as I stated, I'm just gonna show you the demo just going to type in a city name let's try New York so when I click on go and this is the current weather description in New York City and um, you see the degree the temperature the humidity level and the coordination number and it's currently it's a clear sky so if I click on VR mode you'll actually see a clear sky scene so this is currently the um, city of New York um, current weather so it's basically a clear sky So now we're going to try another city. Okay, so the next city we're going to look at now. Um, let's try. Let's try Tokyo, Tokyo, Japan. So I click on Go, and this is the current um, weather scene in Tokyo: 27 degrees, the coordination, and the um humidity level and it's currently it's raining so it is a light intensity shower rain so let's check it out so this is what's going on in tokyo right now a lot, lot light rain and it's not heavy rain it's not medium rain it's just a light simple rain So let's head back to the UI. Okay, so we are now back in the UI. And now we're gonna check out some of these buttons. Heavy snow and heavy rain. So let's try rain in the middle of the night. So this is a typical heavy rain, heavy rainstorm in the middle of the night. Now next I'm going to show you heavy snow. So next we're going to check out the snow. And this time around we're going to see the snow in the middle of the afternoon. Okay, so this is the current snow. And um, as you can see, um, the Detroit is dropping bad um, that is because um, the, I developed this program using a computer that has a very low RAM and very small um, very small disk drive so um, and it also takes a lot of performance there's a lot of performance issues going on with this um, specific specific scene so um, I'm also currently editing this 
particular scene because um if i look back behind me there's not a lot of snow behind me that is because the um camera where it is located at is not really close to where there is more snow snowstorm but you can you get the idea of what the snowstorm looks like okay now for the grand finale the lightning storm as you've noticed i've created an easter egg and that is this my program title here so when you click on the program name it says here if you click on the program you, you might get struck by lightning warning click on the program name to get struck by lightning so let's do that so this is a lightning storm let's see looks like it looks it appears to be a pretty dangerous place. I guess we should get out of here before the lightning starts to shoot. Before the lightning actually strikes us. If you have any question or if you are any comments please leave them down below in the comment section and if you're curious about this program if you want to play around with it um, I will recommend um, downloading unity and also getting a virtual reality headset my recommendation would be the mixed reality headset um, any kind of mixed reality headset will do and um, the source codes and the program itself are located on my github page and the link to my github page is in the description below all right so that's about it and um i'm going to, going to continue working on this program doing some maintenance and updating it with some new features and thank you so much for checking out my demo and i'll see you later bye